This man in Germany became a Muslim by finding his daughter's Quran book. This elderly lady was walking in busy traffic, but got saved by firefighters. This video shows how Muslims lived in the Golden Age. Thought comes from Islam itself. Somewhat unusually, many parts of the Islamic holy texts, the Quran and the Hadiths, place value on education and scientific discovery, regardless of the information's origin. Muslims would enjoy a high literacy rate due to their emphasis on learning and education as part of a well-lived life. Schools would not only give kids a good grasp of Islamic law and analysis, but bring young scholars from different classes and backgrounds together to share ideas. In a state as large and diverse as the Islamic Empire, this led to a lot of cross-pollination of ideas. Later in the Golden Age, this process of education was formalized by schools known as madrasas. They were mosques, boarding houses and libraries in a single compound. Some of these became the first universities to give out degrees. This professors shows how levitation works. Now I'm going to use this little mini Van de Graaff, it's called a fun fly stick, and it'll charge this very, very thin piece of foil positively. You see that? And now that I've charged the pan positively, the pan repels the foil, right? And it's not magic, it's not Wingardium Leviosa. That's everything for now. I will see you next time.